Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to create a hamargam menu like this using simple HTML, CSS and a little bit of JavaScript here. So you can see this looking like that and when you click on it, it's going the cross icon and when you click on this cross, it will be goes a hamargam bar. So now I will create this, go to this into my the VS code here and here is my VS code I have created on file index.html. I will enter that HTML, CSS and JavaScript within this one file that will be very good for you that you will be understand here but you can use external file like that app.js file and you can connect that and you can use that style.css file and you can connect on this link tag. So here I am opening my basic HTML file here. So this is my basic HTML and I will make it zoom here so that you can watch easily. So here I am typing that a toggle menu here. I just type in this toggle menu okay I just type in this and here I will add a toggle menu with this hashtag ID here hashtag toggle okay that's it and now here we will open this under this body section I will open here my style file and here I will add this the basic CSS here that is margin and padding that is margin margin and padding and I will add the box sizing here we will add this box sizing here <laughs> I have added that double dot that's why it's not showing box sizing will be border box and then we will type this body class name here this body section here ok I have copied this full text but I will remove that ok so now we will open this body style file here so here I will type this first of all the display will be flex and here we will add this justify content will be center and here we will add this align item should be center here align item should be center here and the background okay background will be white I'm typing that background and you can type this light carry like that so here this after adding this so now we'll type here this the main height so the main height will be 100 VAs okay after typing this this align item and the justify content and background and like that so now we'll copy this class name sorry ID is hashtag this is toggle ID so under this typing we will have type here this hashtag toggle and here we will type this position relative so most of all this position relative we will type here and now we will type here this background okay background will be i'm typing here hashtag ff0560 so this is my background and here i will add a with this um with this 70 pixel and height here I am adding this ID is 50 pixel. So now if you want to open this file and let's see what it's showing here. You can see like this. This is like this here. So after adding this file and this like this here and here I will add another item is display flex. So here let's see how it is affected here. So you can see it's on this item and the flexible item here. So now we'll copy this hashtag ID here again and we'll type here the before before and here we'll add a content box that will be content double quotation here and here we will type this position the position will be absolute okay position will be absolute here and the background is here I will type this background is hashtag FFF and here I will type this background with um, with this 50 pixel here and height and height should be here I'm typing this side is 4 pixel so now if you want to see that what it's showing here let's open this file and you can see this one is showing this bar is on the top 
okay now we have to add this some item here in this under this hashtag edit toggle here so here we have to type this justify content center and align item should be center so now we will be see here this item is goes to center you can see this bar is goes to center so now we'll make this bar from this and i will make this from the on the top so this is y direction and this is x direction so i will add this y plus so that will be the minus value will be transform value so here i will add this transform and transform template here i will add this minus 10 pixel and here this value will be this direction is y and here i am adding another of value is this transition um 0 0.2 second and now let's open it and you will be see it's this bar is gone some off here okay now we will copy this class name again and this total css property will copy this here and under this section we will import this again here and we will change this value is the before we will make it after here and now we have to change this this direction will be the 10 pixel blue so this will be here this and this everything is set it already so now let's open it and we will be see here this another hamburger menu but we want to make this in this hamburger menu we have to always we see that the mostly we see that the three bar here so we have one two bar here now so we'll add another bar is so here under this box shadow and this transition here so i will add this box shadow so box shadow will be 0 10 pixel and 0 hashtag fff so this is the box shadow and this will be added one there so let's open it and we can see here this three box shadow is showing here this in this emerger menu there is showing this three bar here now so now we'll open this now we'll open this you can see we click it here's nothing is affected here so now we'll implement here this a little bit of subscript here so here's i have to go there under this deep section here i will open this the javascript file here so i'm typing script here and under this script value i'm typing this the value that is type text slash javascript i have typed that okay javascript so now here i will open this this javascript file is almost open here and now we'll type this javascript value and this javascript here so first of all we'll type this const and here will be here this const equal const equal i'm sorry const equal here the document dot here we'll type here this okay now we have to add here this after this const here here we'll add this id here the toggle that is our id here and this and now we'll type here this document so here we'll type this document here dot get element by id here and we'll open this as this bracket here and here we'll double quotation here and this by id is and this is our id here so we'll open this id here and this id is here now and we'll and this will quotation this mark here so after this section here we can see that this is this is almost here and now we will call when we click on this the toggle function here so we will copy this the id again here and under this section here we will type this toggle dot one click when we click on this one click it will be equal a function it will be open a function here and that is and here we will type this function value is here this is will be fine is this value is here toggle class this so we will open this and copy this text here and that and we will type here this toggle class list toggle class list and that is the class name is active here okay is ctfv Okay, toggle class list dot toggle here and under this section this toggle class list here we have to type this that our id here okay this is our id and we have to type this id here and now we will end this section here 
so now if we open this file with this and you can see here when we click on it and now we will check this it's working or not okay this is our item here and we have copied and when we click on it you can see here the class name is adding here this active class is almost adding on this section here if we open this edit with HTML and you can see here this class name is active here so this is our JavaScript's main our JavaScript main goal is we have to add a class name one here but here is exactly we haven't any class name but with this JavaScript we have one class name and that is class active here so when we type on this the class active here and this item will be automatically work but we don't want to add act manually but we want to make it with this script here and we want to add this class like this with using this script and this script will be apply this automatically when we click on it and when we click on it one click function and that is mentioned by this toggle dot on click function and when you click on it this will be automatically the class active function will be open here automatically so now we have to copy this and okay that's we have to copy this hashtag id toggle here so now under this before section and here this first of all we will make it wide here dot active for this active class okay here now we have added this active class so you can change this value and like this type uh, i'm adding just uh, i'm changing the value is like that just only for this we can show that as perfectly here so i'm making some green blue colors okay that's it so i'm showing that what is happened here when you click on it you can see the color is changes okay now we have to copy this class then this id with this toggle class here so under this before section here we'll open it and we will type here this before so before first of all we will apply for this before here so we will copy this to more this three class so this three property here and now we will open it here so here we will make this translate y when it is and it will be make it a zero pixel and we will make it zero zero shadow here so we want to make this two item will be removed from here you can see when I click this and this item is removed from here this item is almost removed and here want to remove this transition or we can still keep it no issue with us so here we will type this rotate rotate will be 45 degree okay and this when you click on it the one item of value will be on this rotate section you can see here and this item will also make it with this rotate section so here we have to copy this and this item and after this and after section here we will enter this after here and remove this before and add here after and now we'll open it with this item here and now we just have to open this just copy this property here and just enter here and now we will make it here zero pixel okay zero pixel here and it will be a rotate will be minus 45 degree rotate minus 45 degree here okay now let's open it and you can see when we click on it it's going the cross icon is showing here and this hamburger menu and three bar is almost showing here so this our this our project is successfully successed here and it's working with our javascript is successfully so now we'll change the color on this active class here this toggle active we have added this color so now we'll just change this colors as our previous color here okay that's it so when you open it and now we'll see the no color changing just inside this hamburger menu this hamburger icon will be changes we can see here that when you click on it the three bar it will go cross and when you click on cross it will go three bar so this is our the coding and this successfully we have made that and using this simple html and the little bit of javascript here and using the basic css and we are going to use that before and active class and after with class we have added use this this property we have added here and this using this simple text you can make this type of beautiful hamburger menu like your project on why you are going to using your website here or anything you are going to use that menu is mobile responsive there you can use this hamburger menu
like this so if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please like on this video and share this with your friends and please subscribe and please subscribe and watch more videos like this thank you so much for watching this video